Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here working on this fun little project that we've been working on. I think this is part four. So before I get started, let's say hi and hugs to Miss Adventures with Mixed Media. I love that name. That's fun. Kiromi Alex, Teta, and Antonio Makes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your nice comments. Um, yeah, so we're going to continue on with this. Um, I am excited to do that because we're almost there. We are getting there. So this is this fun little flippity doodah kind of journal cover. And so we are really, we are all done I need to glue that down. We're all done with all this covering and we just need, I'm just going to glue that down because I don't think that will bother the, um, the pocket part at all. So we might, yes, we need to make something to go in here. So that's, that's a project for today. Everything else has something in it. Um, and then over here, I want to make a, I want to make a pocket and I decided I wanted to use this page from my collage digitals, um, my collage digital on Etsy. So this is one of my favorite pages. I actually, I like it all. Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun and bright and happy and I love it. So anyway, I am going to make a pocket to cover up the flaps on that inside cover and we can chat. I have lots to tell you about and um, yeah, so uh, we had our little dinner party last night. It was very fun. I absolutely adore the people that we were with. Um, I think I might have told you. Okay, hold the phone for a minute on that story. We're just going to see how much of this. Okay, so I think I want this end. And how far up do we need to go? I'm going to say... I'm going to go up to this little crease in that ruffle. That's where I'm going to cut it. This is on presentation paper, so it's a little bit thicker. So I think it'll be fine for a pocket. Um, and then we'll have to trim it off a little bit too at the top. And then we have something to play with later. Or we might put that in the journal, in the inside. Okay, so then let's just mark this at the top of the folder right here. Okay, so we're just gonna have a little snip off there. Um, yeah, so anyway, these folks um, I worked with at the college. We had other connections too, but that, that was kind of the main one. And, um, and uh, they are just, amazing. I think I told you I was having a little bit of anxiety about not dinner or not being with our friends or anything, but just going out. <laughs> and so there was that. Well, then last yesterday afternoon, um, we were to go to their house at 530. And at about 3.30 in the afternoon, a fire broke out in the forest here. And it was a good ways away from us, but you can't tell that at first. And so we were on the, <laughs> on the um, Department of Natural Resources Facebook page trying to get update, updates. And because we didn't know... Like, should we pack up Jimmy Joe and get out of here? You know, because we've, we've been, gone down that road before, not with Jimmy Joe, but another time a fire was very close to us. And, oh my gosh, so scary. 
So anyway, and come to find out, there were people that were evacuated and everything. So my anxiousness about going out then was added to by, by you know, the possibility of a fire. And do we leave Jimmy Joe? You know, and stuff. Well, I said to I said to Mike, let's start. They live clear on the other side of town from us. I said, let's drive over there. And the fire was in between us and just see what we think. If we feel uncomfortable, then we'll just come home, get Jimmy Joe and, and go somewhere. I don't know where, <laughs> a hotel or something. Um, so we're going to have to trim that a little bit right here. Um, let me get, just need a bit of a wipe here. Um, cause I got, I got glue there. Uh, so anywho, we drove and it was clear that it was a good ways away from us. But the thing was, we were having 50 mile an hour winds at the time. And so, oh my good grief, the smoke was so bad. I mean, there there was a part of the of the journey over to our friend's house where I said to Mike, oh my gosh, I can't even breathe. It was bad. It was real bad. But while we were at our friend's house, the winds died down and the smoke abated. It was amazing. Okay, so that's going to be the inside of the journal, like so. I think what I'm going to do now is do the signature. And we're going to use these papers from uh, Natasha at Journey of Crafting. I will remember to link her, hopefully. I will. Um, and they're all these awesome dyed papers. Okay, so these ones are not um, coffee dyed or coffee Kool-Aid dyed. So I'm going to save those for maybe collaging the card that goes in the one big envelope and maybe in here too. So um, I'm just going to get these all folded up. And I've got some other papers over here. Which one do we want for the middle? Ooh, that's a nice one. Maybe that one. Ooh, I love that one too. Love these papers, Natasha. They're very fun. Gosh, I love them all. Oh, the map maybe. Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna do this one in the middle. And then let's see how many papers there are here. So that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten papers. So then we'd only need five other ones. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, bad fire, bad fire. But I was talking to um, the one lady out at our cars afterwards, and I said, you know, I said, I had a little anxiety about coming. I said, I just, I'm so used to being at home. And she said she did too. And so I felt better. I was like, okay, you're not a total weirdo for feeling anxious. Oh, and then you guys, I tell you, I embarrass myself. So there was one couple that we'd never met before. And so, um, you know, when we got there first and when they came in, you know, we were introduced and I stuck my hand out to shake the guy's hand and he goes, Oh no, 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 I don't, I don't shake hands. And I'm like, ah, oh, you idiot. You're acting like there wasn't a pandemic. <laughs> oh, I was so embarrassed. I said, Oh, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I just kind of forgot that that's that's from our old world and we don't do those things anymore she's yeah craziness right so anyway went ahead and embarrassed myself there nice way to start out although I mean honestly he's lucky I didn't go in for a hug because I'm a hugger <laughs> 
And so, so he very well could have been even more uncomfortable. Oh, geez. So, yeah. I love these, Natasha. Thank you for these. Thanks for printing them for me. And they're, they're, some of them are torn, and I love that, too. It's just nice and grungy and fun, and it's pink, and there's been a lot of pink going on in this journal already. And so um, I think it's awesome. I didn't grab... I didn't grab things to go into the signature. I might have to grab, I don't know what I'm gonna grab because I kind of want this just straight writing. So I'm not sure, but okay. So a few other papers that I have here is I wanted to look at these. These were from, um, oh gosh. Happy Mail. These were from, well, you know, you saw the Happy Mail. Sorry. Sometimes it's just, it's just, there's a lot, you know, sometimes. <laughs> and I can't remember everything, guys. I try, but I can't remember everything. Did these come from Natasha with this? I think they did. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, because, you know, heaven knows I'm often wrong. So, yeah, anyway, it was it, it was a really nice night after I got my embarrassing thing done. Jeez, scale. So, I'm going to set those aside, and then I think I'll use... No, I don't feel like those were from Natasha. You know who those might have been from is Sue Woods. Is that right? Anyway, anyway, thank you. I love them. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use one of my I'm gonna use one of my eco dyed papers because it's kind of ripped. It's got a it's got a little craziness going on. Let's let's try and fix this rip. Just got a little carried away getting it out of the tub, I guess. Yeah, good as new. Um, yeah, so anyway. Anyway, anyway, it was a lovely evening. And and it was really, it was actually wonderful to be out and about. But, um, but at the same time, weird, you know? It was just a little weird. Okay, so I'm just going to pop these in, maybe kind of like almost every other one or something. I think the pink would be pretty right there. It's actually peachy, avocado dyed, and it's kind of peachy. I'll put the green one here with that little splash of green on the leaves. So, yeah, so that story I had to tell you about the fire and the dinner and me being a goof and <laughs> all of that. And then um, my other my other news is we've given Mr. Jimmy Joe a little more leeway in the house. We had our house has four levels, which sounds like a lot, but it's not really. Um, there's the main level where the living room, dining room, kitchen are. And then the upstairs is all the bedrooms and, and two bathrooms. And then there's a level off the garage that has kind of like a little den type of thing. It used to be my craft room long ago. Um, it's got this little kind of den thing. Okay, I need to spread those out a little more. And then, um, so this den thing in a bathroom right off the garage. And then the basement is where I'm at in my craft room, right? So anywho, we had him confined to just the level that had, um, 
Ooh, that blue would look good there. Um, just the level that had the living room, dining room, kitchen. And so we let him get to the level by the garage with the bathroom and the little den area because it's a lot cooler down there than it is upstairs. And so um, we just kind of figured, I'm gonna go right here with this one, um, that he'd be cooler for the summer. And, and, you know, and plus he's been a really good boy. We've left him alone and he hasn't, you know, destroyed anything or anything like that. So we decided he earned some more freedom. So, oh, whoops. Okay, Gail, you just need to tie that up and not be thinking about it because that's not what you're doing right now. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, we did that. Oh, my gosh. And we got rid of his kennel because, you know, as a puppy, he slept in his kennel. Well, now he has the roam of the of his level. Well, um, we thought he might be more comfortable in that cooler level. And... Um, Oh, I think I'm really going to like that. Uh, let me grab my uh, binding stuff. Got it. Got it, got it. So anyway, um, we put his his bed that was in his kennel, we put it in um, on that level. So now he can kind of choose depending on how you know, if he's hot or not, he can kind of choose where he wants to sleep. He can either sleep upstairs because he has a bed up there too, you know, on the main level, or he can sleep on the garage level. And the garage level is tile. And so it's cool. Like if he laid on the tile, he'd be nice and cool. Like my daughter's dog, usually when he's here in the summer, he'll always be, you'll find him down on that lower level because it's just more comfortable for him. So that was kind of a big deal. And oh my gosh, he went absolutely bonkers when we first let him down there. But what was funny, this was funny. Um, so this morning, Mike, he thought, kind of do it in increments. And so he, um, uh, he um, undid the gate that goes to the upstairs, to the bedrooms. And he um, closed all the bedroom doors and stuff. Well, <laughs> oh, Jimmy Joe. He, um, I don't know, I think I might want... Hmm. What do I want? This is good. Um, and took the gate down so that he could go up the stairs and in the hallway, but couldn't go in the bedrooms, right? So Mike went to go upstairs and Jimmy Joe just sat at the bottom of the stairs like, I realize the gate's gone, but am I going to get in trouble if I go up there? So he just sat at the bottom of the stairs and looked at Mike. It was funny. But I'll tell you what, when I had my his bed in my hands and was was taking it down to the garage level, he was right there with me, about knocked me down the stairs. He was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Where's my bed going? So, yeah. Oh, it's a work in progress with that guy as far as just, you know, he, he earned it though. He's been a good boy. So we were just like, you know what, let's make sure that he's comfortable. I mean, we have the windows open on the living room level at night and stuff, but still when it's 90 degrees, it's kind of warm in there. <laughs> so He's going to be much more comfortable. So now the gate is at the bottom of my stairs. I still don't let him come in my craft room because I just, I'm just going to wait till he's bigger. Maybe 
maybe once he's fixed, maybe, and he's a little calmer, that might be when he gets to come down here. But it's kind of like he knows. It's like I get my water and I get ice in it, you know. Why is that not coming through? There it is. Um, and he's coming through, or what am I saying? I, I, I was talking about my book. Oh, brother. Um, anyway, oh, that didn't quite go through, I don't think. Um, I get my water to come down and work down here and I always put ice in it. And so, you know, the routine is Jimmy Joke comes and sits by the refrigerator and I give him an ice cube when I get my water and then I come downstairs and then he knows it's like time to take a nap with dad or something. Okay. I kind of like that the signature's pretty plain. Um, Cause there's just so much going on on the front of the journal. <laughs> and I still haven't done anything for the the big pockets too. You know, the, the uh, file folder pockets. So I have a few things. You know what I should do is I should grab my ephemera box and see if there's some things. I think I know a couple things I want to use. So I think I will do that. Okay, so now it's actually a journal. It's got this pocket here. It's got the pocket up here that's the file folder pocket on both sides. Let's see here. Okay, that's all good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so fun. I've had a ton of fun doing this project. I hope it's been fun to watch too. Um, I'm going to go get... I'm going to get this put away, and then I'm going to go get my um, ephemera box, and we're going to dig through and see if there's some things that I want to put in this journal, because I do think there are. Okay, talk amongst yourself once again. You're going to be... You're going to be amazed at how loose my box of ephemera is after doing those other journals. See, look, it's loose. Like, I need to make some more. <laughs> okay, so a couple things I know I want is um, I have in the envelopes section, which is right here. I have these envelopes from my friend Janita, and I want one of those in there because I I just haven't I haven't put these in my in any of my journals because I can't seem to part with them. Oh, look, here's one with a clock. Oh, and a bunny. Oh dear. Maybe I need to use both of them. Let's see if there's a spot for them. I love those. Um, okay. I'm thinking these, because see, they're too long for a, for a signature. That's been part of my issue. But I'm thinking, what if I put them in these pockets, the um, file folder pockets, right? Put the time one in. Yeah, and it can stick up a little if we want it. And then on the back, put the bunny. Aren't these so pretty? She just layered them up so neat. They're embossed a little bit. There's stamping, stamps, and oh, I just think they're beautiful. And they're super inspirational, and I kind of did want this. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I want to see what it looks like if I put it in this way. Um... I wanted this to be an inspirational journal for myself. Okay, so I'm going to put that like that. That's, so I've got those, and then I have this yet. 
Um, and I've got some big tags. I've got this big tag that says Gale. And I'm wondering if that would slip in there. It's got a lot of bumpy lumpies, lumpy bumpies. And this tag. Um, so let's also see about that other envelope. That might be a little looser and more accommodating for this tag. Yep, that's going to fit in there. It's it's pretty um, it's pretty bulky. Nope, it's not going to work. Okay, that's all right. Worth a try. Okay, what else might I want in here? Do I have anything? Oh, I do. I think this is too big. What else? Do I have? Oh, you know, I had one pocket that I was thinking of using. Um, I think, unless I used it somewhere already, which could have happened. Let's see, double journal cards, envelopes, pockets. This guy. Remember that guy? I'm thinking about maybe Can I put it right there because I wouldn't lose a lot of doily. Because he's a little bit wide for a signature is what I've noticed. I think I'm going to try and put him in there. <clears throat> okay. Let's glue him in. Let's just do it. So, I guess that fire is still burning, but, um, the people that were evacuated have been able to go back home. Apparently, it's in a real, um, what do I want to say, hard to access area because, um, like, I don't know if it's in a rocky area or something. Okay, let's just line that up with the edge. And we're going to have to really hold it. I might have to clip it because... It wants to curl. We don't want it to. I want you to stay down. Um, yeah, so anyway, God bless firefighters. What would we do without them? And the thing is, is it's only June. Usually we don't get fires until like end of July, August. So it's way, way early. So that's kind of creepy. But, um, oh, I have an idea for this pocket. What about this that I got in Happy Mail? That is this fun little, and I used one of the tags, but I could put something else over there. I have this one that I got in happy mail let's do that let's see if this is skinny enough to not cause us issues for closing all our envelopes i'm going to put it in spine first just so yeah yeah that's gonna work it's gonna work this is done you guys this little journal is done oh that was fun i really had a good time making this so thank you to Robin Dudley Howe, Howes for um, the inspiration for this. Okay. So just 
give that another second with it clipped. Okay, these can get these can get out of here. And this can get out of here. And then what I think I'm going to do is make a collage some collage pages with the leftovers that um we have from this project. Let's see. Oh, I also wanted to show you what I was doing with Oh, yeah, it's only half hour. Are you up for a little a little travel? Cuz I wanted to show you how I am um organizing my digitals. So, I'm going to try and take you out. I hope I don't lose you. Okay. So, if you get seasick, don't watch for a minute here because we are gonna look at that messy desk oh boy that's messy look at there's my there's my five journals that I need to get to work on I just have had other projects so these are my digitals and I got these plastic sleeves at on Amazon um, they and these little pouches are on my Gail's favorite things but so I've got them all organized so they're you know each person and like this one this is Figaro Designs had a bunch of small ephemera I cut out and so that's what I'm using for these little pouches and they're awesome because I don't know I can't show you because I can't do it one-handed but you see that mesh thing? That's a divider. So like I have all the teeny tinies in the front and the biggers in the back. And so I think that worked really well. So that is the bulk of my digitals. And now I'm working, I'm gonna bring you down here onto the floor cause I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. But um, I decorated, decorated this box with some paper and some lace and stuff. And then these are, these are some of my, some of my other ones. So, um, I, and I have several more over on the table. I'll show you my messy table. Probably my mess will be somewhat, um, reassuring. So that's my <laughs> table. Just a disaster, just a disaster. But I'm organizing the digital, so that's why. And I'm also doing die cutting, you know, so because I think I just have, I have a hard time staying with one project. Okay, I'm going to put you back in the holder. So, uh, yes, didn't we do good? So, yay, this one's all done. Let's see, yep, my little pocket is on there. We can call that good. We can call this baby done. That is done. But that is not the last one of the... Oh, I could put something in there. Well, I'll just wait and see if something comes comes up that I need to... And then I have all that journaling space. So I think this might be... What I might do with this is then write down different ideas in this. Just have this be an idea book because... Um, this was an idea definitely that got me, got me going. Okay, so I was gonna show you, I did, um, I think I did this off camera, but I did another one of the snippet roll thingies and I didn't put anything on the back, so it's curly cueing on me. And that's why that pocket was curly too. So in some ways, I think it is best to just go ahead and back it, even if you end up using it for pockets or something, because otherwise it curls like that. So I just need to put some plain papers on that and that will straighten out. But I'm thinking of maybe doing another one. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm making things fall in my room. I can't get to my chair. But um, I'm thinking of doing another with some of the leftover bits because otherwise, I, I really my um, my collage area is full. It is full, and I have quite a few pages out of my out of my book that need to be put together. So let's do it. Let's do that for the rest of the 
of our time together because, um, and I'm feeling like I need more ephemera because I'm, I'm down from where I was. Okay, so glue book at the ready. These are big sheets, so I may or may not use those. I'm going to set those over there. Okay, so what do we have to use up? We have this. That would be good to um, attach the pages together. So, yeah, I'm just going to use from this pile of stuff that I was using to collage that journal is what I'm going to do. And then that'll be good. Yeah, I decided when I was um, working on my digitals that I am not allowed to do any printing until I use some stuff up. <laughs> oh, I mean, in my defense, some of it is because I print things that people have asked me pr to promote or that I have just wanted to promote, one or the other, you know, and so... That's that's where some of it comes from, and I I understand that, but I mean, I'm to two boxes. I told myself I wasn't going to expand past that um, suitcase, and I have, so either that or I need to get a bigger suitcase, don't I? <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. So I'm going to use some of the bigger pieces first, I think. These are pieces of some of the postcards from Roxy Creations. I really enjoy using those. I'm going to be printing those some more again. But not for a while till I use up some stuff. Um, yeah. I really do think that my poor family is going to just be cursing my name someday when I leave this earth and they have all of these craft supplies to deal with. I keep telling them, just call an estate sale person. <laughs> Don't deal with it yourself. Just call an estate sale person. Okay, I think I might attach one more. Um, here with what? What do I have that I can do that with? Well, I have this, but you know, this part would be good for backing a tag or something. So I think I'll just do that and leave that for backing something. I may just go ahead and back that other one today. I don't know. I um, have so many things in the works. It was kind of hard to sleep last night. I feel like I feel like I just don't get enough time in my craft room, and I I get lots of time. So it's like the people at the dinner party were saying so. So how's your thing? <laughs> how's your thing going? Yeah, people don't necessarily understand our world, guys. I'm sure that's not a surprise to you. But um, anyway, how's your thing going? And I was like, oh, it's good. Just, just working away at it. And I said, now that our shower's done, I might be able to get a little more done. So, yeah. But um, mornings were kind of spent on the shower, so that was okay. So now let's fill in these first two pages a little bit. Let's see, what do we have here? So this lovely lovely um coffee dive music i love it i think i might use some of it i was going to use it for um i was going to use it for a page but then i thought you know this could be nice in here i think i'll just go on like that <laughs> 
just go for it. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah, they were. And so we were explaining to the new people what I do. And it's kind of like when, when you say you make handmade journals, first of all, you kind of get the blank stare. And then when you say you make YouTube videos, it's like, really? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Yep, really. I sure do. Sure do. I love every minute of it. Okay. What, what, what else do I have here? I'm going to look for some bitty pieces here. I might grab my my sacks of scraps too just because they are out of control I feel like Ooh, that's so pretty let's put that up in that corner yes um yeah so explaining it is is kind of funny oh that's that's white. I don't want white. Okay. Um, what's under here? I picked up a lot too, so, um, So, so yeah, that was, that was kind of funny. Yep. I make handmade journals and I make YouTube videos. Oh, <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab my other, my other pieces. So we have some variety here. Um, I was seeing, I was seeing a bit of this. It'd be fun. Just think I need to. Rip a bit. Put that there. Works. My husband's up and walking. I can hear him. He's he's done with his nap. <laughs> okay. And then I think I'm ready to attach. And I actually have five pages here, which is perfect because that's kind of the number that I do. Because any more than that, it gets a little unwieldy, you know. So, let's see. So, I don't know. Maybe our next video, I'm not sure. Maybe our next video will be um, working on um, ephemera on some of these. Get them cut up and made into some stuff. going to put that in the middle here. Okay, we'll just attach right here. else did I see in here? I thought I saw. I love, love this. This is, this will add some little bit more color too. And I might just rip it. I 
I'm to the point where I don't have any place to put my glue book. <laughs> I so love doing it this way, though. It's so quick. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do was I wanted to make some clusters in the, you know, in the way that Rachel did with the um, one piece of paper and the clusters because I think they look so cool on these pieces. So, so okay, so we're done over here. Uh, not done, done, but it's all, it's all got stuff on it. Um, I think I might, I don't know if I'm going to be able to tear this or not with the tear ruler, but I'm going to give it a try because I think I might put that up at the top there where, um, no, it's not that good. Um, where it's kind of blank. I just saw it sticking out of the sometimes you just got to use your scissors it's just how it goes okay um, it's almost like a strip of washi tape or something but I was just thinking it would be nice up here I'll just go right down the middle there. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, oh, this is a fun piece. These are all fun pieces. These are from Timeless Crochet for You. That's where that's those are from. Kind of go with what we got going here, which is, I don't know, pastel y. Ish. And then this one I think could be nice up by that tan. Oh, yeah, that's going to fit there perfect. Awesome. All right, what else do we have up here? Ooh, what's this? This is some more of This is um the buttons kit from Crafty Cat USA. I try to say I don't I won't remember everybody that put them in the description box, but I try at least to I think I better have a new piece of paper. I'm just gonna fold this one. Um Anyways, I try and say, but um, to remember everybody that you've collaged scraps of is a little hard. So, try and get the seems straight. I try to at least start off straight. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Alrighty. What's this? Oh, that's some more. Oh, and then there's some of this, which would be pretty. Um, I don't need this right now. I can set that and I can get to it better. What I was looking at is these are um, summer song pieces. That would be kind of nice too. That I didn't use in that journal. Good to use up some scraps, isn't it? Always makes me feel like okay. I'm not I don't have so much going on that as far as scraps go. Once the bags get to where they don't want to accept another piece of paper, it's like okay, it's time. Time for a collage clean out. 
Okay, there's a couple of those. Those aren't really going with what I got going on here. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's some pretty scrap of paper. Here's a... That goes with the colors. Don't know what my husband's doing up there. You know what I forgot to do is I forgot to peel the papers off of my tub dyeing today. I'm going to have to do that after I get done with this video. I have to go change laundry anyway. I'm sure it's done. some doilies that would be fun in there. Oh, and I have this fun piece from one of my, that's from my collage digi. If we put that on the end here. See, then I end up making more pieces for the small bags of collage. You might have to yell at me that it's time to stop because I'm on a roll here. I wonder if I can finish this. I'm thinking maybe I could. I think I'm just going to put that there, although... That piece was real white, so I'm just going to put that there. I get, I was thinking I need to, oh, that's got a wrinkle right there. That's not great, but that's okay. The goal is not perfection, is it? Maybe I could put, I could put that there. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I got distracted by my wrinkle. <laughs> have an itsy bitsy piece right there. Just have an itsy bitsy piece of something in this itsy bitsy bag. How about music? It's always good. Okay, so we have this area. Um... I don't know. I don't know what to put there. Another piece of this. There's a good pink piece. I better check the time. I'm feeling like it's waning. Somebody said use the timer on your watch, but I can't find a timer on my watch. You know, you know your friend Gail. I'm so untechy. There's an alarm, but But it's no big deal to stand up too. I should I should stand up more than I do. So there you go. Okay. Oh yeah, we got five minutes. This is good. This is good. We have five minutes. We can. 
continue on here. Sounds like my husband's making dinner. I have no idea what. Oh my gosh, I didn't talk about the dinner last night. Oh my. It was so good. It was a like an Asian salad, that the main course. Asian salad with pork loin meats on it. Um, baked potato, mushrooms, sauteed mushrooms, and then this tomato with um, Parmesan cheese on it. Oh, it was so yummy. So yummy. It was, it was just a really good meal. We had spring rolls for appetizers. And then we had fruit with Grand Marnier sauce for dessert. I just ate the fruit and, and my friend, she did all of that because she knows I have kind of a restrictive diet. Now, well, where do I want to put this? I don't want to cover up some of that stuff. Um, yeah, so it was, it was magnificent. Okay, I think I am going to put, I'm going to put this right there and I'm going to put that right there. So now we're all full up. Then it's just a matter of going back and putting little pieces where you think they should be. So I hate to cover up that pretty rose there, but I think I'm going to have to. I think I'll go like that. This is a doily from my doily kit. I forget to mention when things are from from my own my own digitals. But yeah, so maybe like just right about there. Okay. What else do we want to do? I have this little this little doily. I feel like that's better for like a back. Ooh, and I have some of my French ephemera too. That would be nice somewhere. I think I'm gonna go like through all that or something through this. Um, ooh, maybe right here. Yeah. So, yeah, so it was just a lovely evening. And I think the next one with these couples, not the new people we met, but um, but the ones that we always get together with, I think the next time's going to be at our house. I think I'm just going to do an August barbecue is what I think we'll do. Look at this cool piece. Let me put that right there. Like that there. Yeah, it's itty bitty pieces that I need now. So this is my itty bitty piece. That, here's a little tiny one of my doilies that I that I did. And I'll put that right there. So I think Jimmy Joe, from the sounds of it, has settled down and in, into the idea that he gets to roam a little more freely. <laughs> yeah, he, he was he was a crazy boy. I was like, I don't know, Mike. I don't know if that's going to work. He's insane. Mike's like, oh, he's just getting used to it. He'll be okay. This is a branding strip off of Stamperia paper. Kind of nice for breaking up. That doesn't want to stick right there. I'm sorry I'm up so high. I'm probably off camera. I'm guessing we're about out of time too. So let me see. 
Yep. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I'm super excited, super excited about this journal. I love this journal. It is awesome. So thanks everybody for, for watching. I don't know, next time we might make some ephemera or who knows, whatever I find, we'll do. <laughs> Have a grateful day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.